morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. Have a nice day. Morning. Thank you. Sixteen simple words that we use every day in our business. Sixteen ordinary, uncomplicated, everyday words. Use them well, use them courteously with a friendly, genuine smile, and they become public relations tools for Republic parking. Ignore them or use them coldly, mechanically. Got gotcha. you eight, got gotcha. you nine, got gotcha. you ten. Use them coldly, mechanically, with no eye contact, and they present an entirely different image. Ten. An impression of a cold, uncaring company that has no interest in its customers. OK, you make the choice. Which company does a better job of meeting the needs of its customers? You know the answer, and so do I. That's why we've prepared this video on the public relations aspects of your job as a Republic parking cashier. You don't just handle money and tickets. You handle our customers, the people who make us or break us. You do your job well, and they'll think of Republic Parking as a friendly, responsive, efficient, customer-oriented organization. You slip up, you get careless, you miss your chance for a positive transaction, and they brush us off as a cold, uncaring, faceless corporation. The best way to avoid that is to understand that your job is the one job, the only job at Republic Parking, which provides frequent, face-to-face -face contact with our customers hundreds of times every day. You are Republic Parking in the eyes of your customers. So let's review some ideas, tips, and suggestions on how you can grow in your job and your career at Republic Parking. Show up a few minutes early for your shift so you can make sure your booth is sparkling clean and ready for business. Do you have all the forms and supplies you need? Is your cash bank complete? Start off your day with your uniform fresh, clean, and neatly pressed. And top it off with a friendly, genuine smile. No big, phony Hollywood smile, but a real smile, the kind you greet an old friend with. Good morning. Speak clearly and confidently whether you're greeting a customer or answering a question. Please and thank you are two of the most important words in your business vocabulary. Thank you, have a nice day. Please and thank you are the tools of your trade. They'll earn you the confidence and respect of your customers, and they'll help broaden and strengthen our satisfied customer base. Accuracy and efficiency are two of the other tools of a real pro. Make sure that you ring up the proper amount on every ticket. Don't sacrifice accuracy for speed, because you'll end up spending more time correcting a mistake than doing it right the first time, a lot more time. Develop the habit of counting the change out loud so the customer can hear you. It will help you to make the correct change. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thanks. Have a good day. Counting out loud helps you to avoid mistakes and to reassure the customer that the transaction is being handled with care and accuracy. Don't forget that you're here to help our customers. Sometimes they need directions to nearby destinations. So make a list of the places people ask about most often and check your city map to make sure you're giving them the best route to that destination. Some customer of yours will inevitably lose his or her ticket. It happens every day in one of our facilities. Our lost ticket form turns that potential headache into a minor piece of record keeping. Just follow the steps in the form. Now here's a problem you can easily avoid. Don't linger on the phone when a customer pulls up. He, like any customer, including yourself, wants prompt, courteous attention. So get off that phone fast. Sorry, I gotta go right now, I have a customer. Bye-bye. That's customer service Republic style. Sometimes a customer will have a question about his bill. Answer in a clear, polite manner befitting the professional you are. There will unfortunately be occasions when a customer will become arbitrary, irritated, or downright belligerent. Remain calm, listen carefully to the customer, and explain what you need to do to resolve the matter. If the customer is still unhappy, call your supervisor and he or she will handle the situation. Never raise your voice or lose your temper. That's a losing game, even if your analysis of the situation is a correct one. And never, never leave your booth unattended. If you need to take a break or leave suddenly for an important personal reason, 
ask your supervisor for approval so he or she can make arrangements to cover your assignment. Fill out the shift report sheet carefully and accurately, making sure that the tickets tally with the cash count. All tickets must have entrance and exit times and dates stamped. All tickets must be properly separated and banded together before you leave. And give the cashier in the next shift a good start by making sure that everything is in proper order in the booth. All forms and report sheets and supplies in the proper place, just the way you want it to be when you show up for your shift. That's the mark of a good team player. And this challenging, sometimes demanding business of ours demands effective teamwork. Each shift depends on the other. Each person depends on the other. That's how we've outplayed our competitors in cities all across the country, winning important parking contracts in some of the most important business sites in the U.S. That is, without any doubt, how we've become, for example, the biggest, most successful parking company serving the U.S. air transportation industry. Follow the simple, sensible ideas, suggestions, and guidelines we've talked about in this video, and you'll find your career taking off at Republic Parking.